Okay, so a month ago, Chewy sent me this AMD Ryzen 7 mini PC, the AU box. They've now sent me an i9 version, and to look at it, it's identical. When we look at the ports, they're exactly the same. Both support 4K 144Hz displays. They both have a TDP of 65 watts and the same Mini ITX cooler. Although it says 32 gig in the specs, mine comes with a 16 gig DDR5 RAM and 512 storage. And the difference really is the processor. So the one on the left, the AMD Ryzen 7 8745HS, is 8 cores, 16 threads, and it turbos at 4.9 gigahertz. And the i9 on the right hand side is the 13900HK, which is a high performance mobile processor. And that's 14 cores and 20 threads, turboing up to 5.4 gigahertz. And if we look at the sides, you can see completely identical in every way. You really can't tell them apart apart from the sticker. The power supply is 19 volts, 6.32 amps, so 120 watts. And it's a nice thick barrel jack. And also in the box came this, which is a monitor mount. And there's some screw holes on the back here to attach this to a monitor. It's got the same nice, really thick rubber feet as we had on the other one, and also the same cooling system with fan. Let's plug it in and start it updating. Everything's all updated. I've installed some games. I thought I'd show on their site just some of the connectivity options. So power button on the front, we've got USB-C 3.2 Gen 2, two USB-A 3.2 Gen 1, and a Kensington lock. There's the power in. We've got a USB-C Thunderbolt 4, 3.5mm audio jack. We've got a DisplayPort connection, an HDMI connection, a USB-A 3.2 Gen 2, and a USB 2, and two 2.5 gig Ethernet. So they show how the monitor mounts on the back here. The dimensions are there if you need them and the weight. So Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth 5.2. The cooling system does seem very effective. It's certainly not very noisy at all and uh, it kept it cool in the gaming test that I've been doing. So we've got the slower 32 gig DDR4 memory in this, not DDR5. And I've got the 16 gig version and the 512 storage. So PCIe 3. We've got dual PCIe slots. I'll be opening that up after the Windows games because I put Bazite Linux on an NVMe and I'm going to use that in it because we're going to get some slightly better gaming performance through that. But up to 64 gig of RAM. So four monitor outputs we can achieve. So 4K 144, 4K 144, 4K 60 and 8K 60 from the display port. As I mentioned already, 14 cores, 20 threads. Turbo's at 5.4 gigahertz. Right, let's try some games. Now, obviously it goes without saying the operating system is super snappy. So let's try a bit of Steam. And all I've installed in here is Riders Republic because that's quite a recent game. Not sure how it will run on Intel integrated graphics, but we'll give it a go. The processor is still powerful. So we're at 720 and everything's on pretty much low just to get the best out of it. Okay, so I guess it started off where I left it. Look at the snow. It looks so good. Let's see if we can get some air off this. Oh, happy with that. What are we getting? I wasn't looking at the FPS. Around about 36, 37. And we can change our sport skis. That's better for this surface. Rocket wing. Remember it's integrated graphics and this is a pretty modern game. Yeah, happy with that. So this is how let loose, this is just a training mission, but I think we've gone a bit ambitious because we're not getting loads of frames per second. I went up to about 40 then, but yeah, as you can see, uh, a bit ambitious for this system, but it is working. 
let's try something else. So this is the enhanced version of GTA 5 and I'm running it at 720 at the moment but uh, it seems pretty good. There's a lot of detail. You know, this is a pretty built up area and there's police after me. Have I nearly lost them? No, not quite. Surprisingly good, considering this is the enhanced version, which only came out in 2025. Uh, so obviously the original game's been out a long time, but they've upped all the graphics and everything. And when you up the resolution, it does look really nice, but you just don't get the frame rate. So, I'm happy with that. I would definitely play it at that frame rate. Let's undo the four screws on the base. Then we can tease this apart. So that's the aluminium lid. And everything's nice and accessible. So we've got another RAM slot here. We'll have a look at that RAM. Let's peel this back. So yeah, it's right, DDR4 3200, 16 gig. And then the NVMe drive. When I do these tests with NVMe drives, I generally do it where I take the drive out for Linux. So PCIe 3.0 times 4, it's an air disk, and it just has this sleeve for taking some of the heat away from it, and the thermal pad to take it up into the lid. This is a 512 Lexar drive. It's already got a thermal pad, so I'm just going to leave that on there. And I haven't plugged the power supply in yet, because I thought I'd try it with USB-C. So let's see if this can be powered with USB-C from the back. So we've got a socket here. So there's no other power cable plugged in. Yeah, so it's powering on. This is a Ugreen 500 watt USB-C multi-charger. So yeah, it's got plenty of power for this. Yeah, that seems to be loading up. So this is Bazite, which is a bit like SteamOS. So it's Arch Linux with KDE Plasma. Let's just log in. So Bazite is the standard password. And you can see it's updating Steam. So we have Steam on here. I've also put Heroic on here. So I can run the Epic Games Launcher. So if we press the Windows key. So we just have a really nice interface with KDE Plasma. Very gaming centric, so things like Wine are already installed as well. But Lutris and Steam can also play Windows games, as can Heroic. So, yeah, really, really good support for gaming. But it just is a good operating system as well. So we've got the Firefox browser as standard. We've got uh, game streaming services with Sunshine, which supports Moonlight. Don't know Haruna as a, a media player. And an update has given me Bazaar, which is, uh, I guess, instead of... KD Discover. This has all sorts of options. So PS2, we've got uh, Xbox Original Emulator, RPCS3, PlayStation, Wii U, GameCube. Might be worth trying a bit of original Xbox. Haven't done that for a while. It's a nice looking store and it also takes you to all the main pages and everything. This is Stubbs the Zombie and it's a great game. And I haven't got any FPS on this, but as you can see, it's working absolutely fine. Graphics look pretty decent. Yeah, happy with that. Bit gory to show on this video, so uh, I'll leave that bit. But yeah, really, really nice. So this is the Heroic Games Launcher, and if I show all of the games, so this is my Epic Games account, and so I can install Windows games from there. But if I do show installed only, you can see I've only installed one game on this, Fallout New Vegas. Now, I haven't been able to get this. Since I had this from the Epic Store, I haven't been able to get it to work on Windows. I haven't tried super hard, but it's worked on this straight away. So if I hit play, it's using Wine. Okay, so settings-wise, uh, it said it was picking some quite high levels. Yeah, things are pretty high on there. And if we have a look around, we're getting 60 FPS. And it looks really nice, nice and smooth. Howdy, partner. Might I say you're looking fit as a fiddle? Yeah, it looks pretty decent. Happy with that. Now, I've only just started playing this, so I don't really have anything much going on. I take it you can't ride these. That'd be nice. But yeah, the graphics is looking decent. And given the fact that I haven't been able to get this to run on Windows, the fact that I've got it running on this and running at 60 FPS and looking good. 
very happy with that. Right, let's try something else because I've got Steam on here as well. Now, am I going to be able to get the FPS up on this? Let's give it a go. In game. Yeah, let's give it a go with that. That's it. Hopefully that will work. So on this, I installed the Doom demo, and this is the 2016 version, but it looks great. So let's try this. I haven't done anything to it. I just hit install. Let's see what it does. Let's get our suit on. Yeah, definitely feels fine. Uh, what we're getting around about 36 FPS. Um, the levels are quite high, so I could definitely go a lot lower than this. And then I would get a much better frame rate, but this still feels all right as it is. Yeah, feels good. I can't look at the FPS because it's getting so fast. Uh, 32 FPS. Yeah, very nice. So the settings I was using, uh, 1920 by 1080, motion blur on high, field of view on 90, and advanced settings. So we could go down loads on a lot of this. So, so many of this is on medium and some on ultra and high. So if we want a much higher frame rate, we can. But it still felt right to play as it was. So if we look at Chewy's site, as I showed in the start of the video, it does say DDR5 here, but it actually isn't. So if we scroll down, it's more accurate here. So this says DDR4, uh, 3200 megahertz, and it also says it in the specs as well. And obviously I can confirm that mine is DDR4. The 8745 that I've got and tested a couple of months ago does have the faster DDR5 RAM. So it's a curious decision on such a good processor to put DDR4 RAM. So thanks very much to Chewy for sending me this to test. I've definitely enjoyed playing the games on it. Bazite works great on it especially. Hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.